Volatility is an important component of a profitable trade as a trader may only profit when there is a volatility in price. Bollinger Bands are one of the indicators that indicate the price volatility. Welcome! In this session, we will learn the following. The components of Bollinger Bands. The signals generated by the indicator. The trading strategies using the indicator and practical trading tips using the concepts. Bollinger Band is formulated by John Bollinger in 1980s and it is still one of widely used indicators today. It is designed to identify the price volatility. 95% of the price oscillates between the extremes of the bands. A Bollinger Band has three components. The first component is the line on the middle which is simply the 20-day moving average. In this chart, you can see that the 20-day moving average is identical to the middle line. A trader can choose the value of the MA according to his preference. For short-term traders, 10-day MA is preferred while some long-term investors prefer to use 50 MA. For the sake of simplicity, we will use the default value which is 20. Other components are called the upper and the lower bands. The line above the MA is called the upper band, while the line below is called the lower band. By default, both bands are two standard deviations away from the MA line. The standard deviation is the most common measurement of volatility. For the sake of simplicity of the subject, we will no longer discuss how it is computed. The standard deviation can also be modified according to the trader's preference. For short-term traders, 1.5 SD is the preferred value in conjunction with 10-day MA line, while long-term investors prefer 2.5 SD in conjunction with 50-day MA. For our discussion, we will use the default value of 2SD. The common misconception is that Bollinger Bands are used in range trade. But traditionally, they are used to identify the beginning of the trend. When the price breaks the bands, the trader should trade with the direction of the break. In this example, the price breaks above the upper band and we can see the continuation of the trend after a short consolidation. Most likely, breakouts from the Bollinger Band are similar to other breakout patterns such as Darvis Box Breakout. In this other example, the price breaks down to the lower band, initiating the downtrend. Another signal the Bollinger Bands create is the contraction and the expansion of the bands. The contraction of the bands happens when the price is on a tight trading range. On the other hand, the expansion of the bands happens when there is an increase in the price volatility. By theory, periods of low volatility are likely to be followed by periods of high volatility. High volatility periods are also likely to be followed by periods of low volatility. In this chart, we can see how the contraction and the expansion of the bands happened as the price undergoes cycles of consolidation and increased volatility. Trade with the direction of the break. If the price breaks above the upper band, go long. In this chart, the correct entry is the price breakout after the Bollinger contraction. If the price breaks below the lower band, go short. Look for periods when the bands are contracting. 
always wait for the bands to contract before buying on breakout or shorting on breakdowns. Trading without the band contraction is risky and is prone to whipsaws. It is also risky entering a trade when the bands have already expanded significantly. In this other example, a short sale is prone to whipsaw if bought when the band has already expanded or there is no actual contraction. The correct entry should be when the bands have already contracted before placing the short. Use the moving average line as a trail stop. In an uptrend, sell once the price closes below the MA line. Remember that when the price closes below an MA may mean that the momentum may also change. In this chart, the price changes its momentum when it closes below the MA line, from uptrend to sideways. The trader may lock the profits once these conditions were satisfied. Avoid selling too early just because the price is in the upper band. Instead, follow the trend. Use the MA as a trail stop to attain better trading returns. Sell or lock profits when the price closes below the MA line. The price in an uptrend stays within the upper band. The price in a downtrend stays within the lower band. Watch out for false breakouts as Bollinger Bands, like any technical indicator, only interpret the price action and not the fundamental change of the asset. Remember that breakouts are not 100% guaranteed, as there are false breakouts. In this example, the price breaks out of the band, only to start a downtrend. In this case, always follow your stop-loss strategy. Also watch for signals of trend reversals. Bollinger Bands are not standalone indicator. Use it along with other technical indicators and tools. In this example, the price breaks above the Bollinger Band while the MACD shows crossover, and there is already a golden cross among the MAs. Therefore, a trader should buy on breakout. And finally, remember that trading is not perfect, so always manage the risk by carefully planning ahead the trade. Always consider the portfolio allocation size. And also plan your stop loss before the trade. If you find this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.